most pure and lovely English folk songs. And there were many songs um, flowing from these mountains and hollers. And uh, Patsy's going to sing uh, one for you now before we do a song called The Meadows of Dan. And it's a, a Scots Gaelic tune. Uh, and it's about, uh, uh, I think the title is Come Together We Shall Sing a Song. And it's about missing the, the physical beauty of one's homeland. Chanet Lud is toke fine. Mohria try mermania. Smi fato elan and after. Spo here and then glides and then gala. Oh, hurry, nach niva. In cheer and glance, nimbialo, cheer and crew, should cheer mohu, nim back and throw his rani. Yeah. 
about how we write them down. Oh, Hambo, Hambo, where you been? Wait outside the back end. <laughs> Slap your knees and let's get down. Hambo, Hambo, come to town. All right. Well, that's what we call a little bit of ham bone. Has anybody ever here ever seen ham bone before? No, not really, not so much in Shropshire. Well, let's, let's, let's show them what our ham bones are, folks. It's a part of your leg, sort of your, your thigh, and you know, just everything above the knees. So could we have the house lights up, please? All right, now we're all in it together here. We've invited you back to the, uh, the, the lodge where we've been staying, and we're about to do the exact same thing that I did with all these funny people. <laughs> so um, who here feels like learning a little bit of ham bone? Yeah. All right, so it's really easy. All you have to do is clap your hands like this, and then take your right hand and put it on your right leg, and then your left hand on your left leg, and do it again. All right. And if you want, you can get a duper sound on your chest like this. Check this out. Or for New York. All right, that's great. And then there's this other one that's really fun too. Up in Winnipeg, we call this the snowblower. But down in Appalachia, they call it the lawnmower. So it's really easy. You just take your arm and you put it like this, your right arm above your right leg. And then you take your other leg, your other arm. <laughs> leave your legs out of it, except for when you're hitting it. In any case, put it like this in front of your arm. This is sort of in the way here. So then what you do, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. So you hit down with your hand on the upper arm here. And you'll notice that underneath is your hand bone. And you just let it follow through and hit your leg. And then that leaves this arm up here like this, and you hit your upper arm, same thing. You follow through and hit your hand bone. And then you do the arm, hand bone, arm, hand bone, arm, hand bone, arm, hand bone. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, over at the house we've been calling this churning butter. But we're not gonna churn very much butter like that, so you gotta do it more like this. You guys look wonderful. All right, well, now we're going to sing a little song doing some ham bone. How does that sound? Do you feel like that? All right, well, this happens to be a song from the Cecil Sharp collection. It's a song that I've been uh, singing. My dad used to play this for me on the banjo, and um, it was really impressive because he'd go way up high on the neck, and I thought he was a real virtuoso. But, but uh, well, I later found out that it's just uh, all smoke and mirrors playing the banjo. But here, let's do this. Let's get this, uh, this vibe going here. Just This song called Old Groundhog. Don't speed up. Well, here comes Sal with a snicker and a grin. Here comes Sal with a snicker and a grin. Groundhog raven dripping down her chin. Old Groundhog. And here comes Johnny with a 10-foot pole. I'm just gonna keep you doing this forever. Okay, let's go back on our knees here. I didn't mean that in that kind of way. 
Well, the meat's in the cupboard and the butter's in the churn. The meat's in the cupboard and the butter's in the churn. If that ain't a groundhog, I'll be darned. Oh, groundhog. Yeah, I dug down, but I didn't dig deep. I dug down, but I didn't dig deep. And there lay the whisk pig fast asleep. Oh, groundhog. And here comes Granny leaving on her cane. Here comes Granny leaning on her cane. Swift's gonna suck them groundhog brains. Oh, groundhog. Chest. short break and we'll be right back after you guys get some more libated. See you in a bit. Check. Well, welcome to the second set. We're going to start this set out with an Appalachian motor ballad. The only difference between uh, this ballad and others uh, is that we wrote it this week. Uh, <coughs> but it is no less tragic than many of these other songs we've been singing or that Sharp collected. This one uh, has to do with mountaintop removal in Appalachia. And this story comes actually from just outside the town of Appalachia, Virginia, in Inman Hollow. And uh, late one night, uh, 18 wheelers and um, other tractors were clearing road space so that they could cut off the top of the mountain and dump it into the holler and dig in for coal. And <coughs> uh, somebody didn't notice that a huge boulder was pushed off the side and it rolled down the hill to a little trailer down below where a family was sleeping, including a little three-year-old boy named Jeremy Davidson, who was killed that night. And this song is in his honor. When his family settled with the coal company, they were uh, not allowed to speak again of his death publicly. So I feel especially proud to sing about it tonight.
When Sharp was uh, in the mountains himself, he, he frequently remarked in his diaries how the children at that time were a huge part of the singing culture. And he was frequently pursued by children wanting to get his attention and sing him songs. And uh, right at the very beginning, when Olive Campbell approached him, in her letter, she made a comment saying, how shall I ever forget it? Blazing fire, a softly strumming banjo, and a young girl singing the most beautiful version of Barbara Allen. So we're gonna couple a little song with a, an Appalachian version of Barbara Allen, and a tune which is called, Leonard? The tune we're gonna play with this one is called Push that pig's foot a little further into the fire. <laughs>
very rarely sharp collected from an African American. One such woman was Maria Tomes. This is good Aunt Maria. Hello, Mr. Sharp, sir. Hello, Mr. Sharp, sir. Welcome to these parts, sir. They call me Aunt Maria. Try it. Songs, listen to my songs, uh. it won't take me long, sir. Sit right here with me. Brother works the mind, sir. My brother works the mind, sir. Where that sun don't shine, sir. This next song is uh, in honor of Maud Carpolis, and Catherine's going to play it and sing it on the piano for us. And she was a, a tremendous figure in Cecil Sharp's life. She traveled with him throughout Appalachia. After his death, she traveled and collected ballads in Newfoundland, among many other places, was instrumental in, in building the Cecil Sharp House and in um, making him the name he is today. This is called Beautiful Maud. Mm -hmm. 